what up everybody so um i really wasn't planning on talking about the justice league but today at work when i had some downtime you know when i get bored um i was reading some articles and i read this one article i think it was from entertainment weekly and they were talking about coco the new disney pixar movie that came out i believe it came out on friday and they said that Coco did very well over the Thanksgiving weekend. It did so well that it beat Justice League. Justice League is now in the number two spot. And for me, that was very disappointing for me to, to read. Why is that? I personally, even though I love Marvel, I personally believe a Justice League movie should have outperformed, should have outdone the Avengers. Why am I saying that? Ever since I was little, I grew up watching Batman animated series, Superman animated series on, w on Kids WB, and then eventually Justice League and Justice League Unlimited on, um, ugh, on Cartoon Network. And I'm not sure if you guys remember the the, tele, the television channel Boomerang. What? I was watching um, the, the Super Friends. I, I was even watching Spider-Man and his amazing friends. All that stuff. I knew about the Avengers. I'm sorry. I knew about the Justice League before I knew about the Avengers. I didn't even know about the Avengers until... Marvel announced that they were going to make an Avengers movie way back when. I had to do research on the Avengers. And I know some of you are going to get on me, but, you know, I, for me, in order for me to truly know about the Avengers, I would have had to be a really huge comic book head. The only comic books I was reading when I was younger were Spider-Man, X-Men, and even some Batman and Superman comics, especially graphic novels. The one graphic novel, novel that sticks with me is the one with Batman and Superman, and I think it's called Apocalypse, and that's when Supergirl, Kara, was introduced, and Wonder Woman comes in the picture, and she takes Kara back to Themyscira to train her so that Kara can better learn how to control and use her, her powers, her abilities. So I feel as if Justice League should have done so much better in the box office it should have it should still be number one and it should be outperforming the avengers but because dc is russian they're making so many mistakes so i'm going to talk about what i liked about justice league and what i didn't like about justice league i saw justice league on saturday and it wasn't bad it was it was good I feel as if I should not be talking about Justice League that like that. I should be high. I should be like, oh my god, Justice League was freaking amazing. I should be saying that like how I felt after I saw um, Captain America Civil War, even Captain America Winter Soldier. Like I was so excited after watching those movies. But with Justice League, I'm like, meh. <laughs> and it shouldn't be like that. So what were some of the things that I liked about Justice League? Okay, Cyborg. I liked how they developed Cyborg. Judging from the trailers, I was a little bit worried that Cyborg would be the token black superhero, but that wasn't the case. That was the total opposite for me. I don't know about everybody else, but speaking for me, that was the total opposite in the movie. They actually showed him struggling with the fact that he's more machine than human. And I kind of got the sense that he sort of wished that his father didn't use the technology from the mother bot or whatever it's called to bring him to life, to resurrect him. Um, and I remember this from the Teen Titans, not Teen Titans Go, not that abomination, the, the Teen Titans from Cartoon Network. I think there was this one 
this one episode where Cyborg felt as if he wasn't human enough because he has he's made up of all these mechanical parts and in the Justice League movie he's he has that struggle you know so I just I loved that aspect that they showed about him I I'm really happy that he wasn't the token black superhero so I appreciate that from from Justice League um, I'm not sure if he's gonna have his own movie I think it'll be I don't know I know they're gonna there's gonna be a flash and Aquaman movie I'm not sure if there's gonna be a cyborg movie I don't know maybe they might save him for a Teen Titans I don't know um flash flash was good <laughs> um but I felt as if we get it he's the funny guy I felt as if he like in almost every scene that Flash was in, he was he was always making some sort of one line joke or whatever the case may be, and it started getting kind of redundant. You don't have to have him making jokes in every scene that he's in. The only time I got to see Flash for who he really was is when they were about to go and save the hostages from Steppenwolf and you know they were about to go in and flash starts to get a little scared which is very understandable this is his first time ever having a huge battle he even told batman like whoa i've never fought in any type of battle i just push people and run away so it was it was very interesting to see him not interested but it was it was really good seeing him act like that because this is his first time in a in an actual battle fighting non-humans because as he said he just pushes people and he runs away that's that's all he does he's the rookie him and cyborg are both the rookies but cyborg really doesn't have a problem going into battle but flash does um with that being said i do not like the fact that almost every time when he was in battle he was freaking tripping and falling i i hate i hated that in the battle when they were saving the hostages, he tripped and fell. When he was going up against Superman, he tripped and fell. When the, the final battle was stepping with, he tripped and fell. And um, there was even another scene yeah, after they defeated, when it was just them and Steppenwolf, and, and I think Steppenwolf tripped him. Like, he tripped four or five times throughout the whole movie. I understand he's a rookie, but you would think after the second freaking time, he would have learned how to avoid getting tripped or whatever the case may be. You know, like, it just took one time. One time. This is for my Game of Thrones fans. One time for Drogon to get shot by the damn arrow. He knew how to freaking zigzag. When... When when the Night King threw that javelin, he was trying to kill Drogon. Drogon was like, nah, -uh, and he zigzagged and avoided that javelin. It took it took a dragon one time to avoid that flash. Come on, stop with the tripping. That that annoyed me, and I think they were just trying to, the director, the producers, they're trying to play. Oh, Flash is the funny guy. Flash is the rookie, so we're gonna have him make a joke every scene. We're gonna have him trip and fall in every scene, and it just got really redundant. And I wish they didn't, you know, do that with the Flash as many times as they did. Superman. Oh my god. When Superman, when they resurrected Superman. Oh my god. This, for me, I don't know about y'all, but for me, this scene saved the movie. I, I think if they did not have this scene, I think this movie would have been on par with Suicide Squad or even possibly be worse than Suicide Squad. I think this scene is the bread and butter of the Justice League movie. And this, I'm speaking for me, I don't know about y'all, probably you guys think something else, but for me, this was the scene that really saved the Justice League. 
So Batman came up with this brilliant idea to try to resurrect Superman, similar to how Lex, Lex Luthor um, resurrected Zod. And so a lot of them were against it. Aquaman was against it. Flash was like, you know, is this really a good idea? We can have a pet cemetery type of situation. Um, and for those of you that know don't know about Pet Cemetery, get the book. It's really good. Pet Cemetery is basically is a book. It's written by Stephen King, and it's basically about when you resurrect something and you bring it back from the dead, it doesn't come back the way it was when it was alive. And Superman for a second was like that. They resurrected him. He flew out of the whatever Lazarus pit or whatever it is. He flew out landing in some monument in metropolis and he's sort of freaking out he's trying to figure out what happened and that's very understandable you've been dead for like i don't know how long for a couple of months and you're back alive and you're trying to figure out what is going on so all the justice league members get to that area except for batman because you know he has no superpowers so it's going to take him a while to get there so Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Flash, and Cyborg, they see Superman and they are at awe at seeing this, this being. So Superman, he sees them and he's analyzing them to see if they're threats or anything like that. So from the jump, Aquaman is like, okay, this is not good. I think something is wrong with him. And Wonder Woman is trying to give them trying to give them time. He's like, no, no. You know, she starts calling him Kalal, son of Krypton, blah, blah, blah. And then Cyborg system starts getting all, it starts analyzing and starts to see Superman as a threat. His arm turns into a freaking cannon and Cyborg is like, oh my God, no, no, don't do this. He's trying to get control of it, but he can't. His arm through, like shoots a cannon laser at Superman. Superman sees it go past him. He looks at him, he's like, word <sighs> so he does the laser beam eye on cyborg cyborg's arm creates a shield aquaman tries to get a hit superman superman just said like basically bitch slaps him to and aquaman starts flying out of building one of them gets her lasso and gets it out superman superman catches that shit with his arm and he pulls one of them towards him and he, he grabs her by the neck and then Cyborg and Aquaman, 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 start and they try to re restrain Superman. I'm like, oh shit! Like, like it's about to get down. It's about to get down. Flash, Flash gets this brilliant idea. He's like, you know what? Let me run behind Superman and just try to knock him. So Flash, you see Flash? He starts running. He's running. He's running. Superman, he, he, he's like, I got this. I got this shit. Superman is holding the other, the other three members, and he's like this. He looks back, and he starts to see Flash. Flash is running. He's like, does this motherfucker see me? I was like, ah, oh, yes. Yes. Superman throws the other three members. He goes back to Flash. He just washes Flash. I was like, yes. This is the Superman that, that we fear. This is the Superman that everyone fears because the Superman goes rogue in the wise words of Tyrion Lannister. We're fucked. So this is the Superman. I'm sorry, this is the kind of Superman I want to see. This is the type of Superman that Batman from the comics, from Justice League animated series. He, this is what he prepares himself. That's why he always carries around kryptonite with him. So after he washes Flash, Wonder Woman is like, don't make me do this. And I'm like, oh, shit. We're about to get a one-on-one -on -one battle between Superman and Wonder Woman. Like, I'm like, I'm ready. <sighs> like, this scene woke me up. Like, honestly, I, I was starting to get bored watching Justice League. And this scene where Superman gets resurrected and he's fighting against the Justice League, I woke up. So when Wonder Woman is like, <sighs> don't make me do this. I'm like, yes. So they collide with each other. 
Superman headbutts Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is like, ah. and then she goes, bah, she headbutts Superman. Superman is like, bitch. Ah. So he he floats in the air and he's holding on to Wonder Woman. He lifts Wonder Woman up and bam, throws her on the ground. I'm like, oh, I got the So I'm thinking, I'm thinking Wonder Woman is about to get up and just start throwing punches at Superman. And I'm thinking we're going to get this great super, super Saiyan battle between Superman and Wonder Woman where they're flying in the air and they're just throwing punches. You, you know those scenes with Goku and Frieza and, and you just see, they just there throwing punches at you. Yeah, and all that other stuff. That's what I think I'm going to see. Did we get that? No, we didn't. What the fuck did we get? When Superman... Threw Wonder Woman on the ground. She she just goes. <sighs> I yelled in the theaters. Oh no, the fuck they did it! <sighs> and some of the people just started laughing because they knew what. They <sighs> Watching Justice League, reading some of the comics. Not Wonder Woman comics. I have to admit, I have not read a single Wonder Woman comics. But reading Batman, Superman, and you see Wonder Woman featured in them. Wonder Woman, has t she has taken bigger hits than that. I'm sorry, that was a bitch-ass throw by Superman. <laughs> um, we have seen Wonder Woman take bigger hits than what Superman did. In Justice League movie to her even in her own movie she's getting shot by machine guns and I understand it's from World War one but she's getting shot by these by heavy artillery and she's still standing how the fuck Superman thrown on the ground is gonna wind her out she's just gonna go <sighs> and then after that you see Batman come and they do they do an exchange of words, and Superman's like, oh, tell me, do you bleed? And then Lois Lane comes in. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? We could have had an epic battle scene between Superman and Wonder Woman. For, for me, I'm speaking for me, and for me alone, I felt as if they could have spent an extra five to ten minutes on that scene and that scene alone. <clears throat> now I know some of you are gonna be like, "Well, what about the the fi the final battle between the Justice League and Steppenwolf?" Honestly, I started to forget about Steppenwolf. Like I said before, I started to get really bored, and this scene with Superman it woke me up. It really did. They really could have used this scene to show how truly powerful Wonder Woman is and they just they just fell flat and that's the problem with with the DCEU they keep falling flat and they shouldn't have to fall flat when you're making a Justice League movie when you're making a Suicide Squad movie you shouldn't have to fall flat Justice League should be freaking amazing and it wasn't. It was just meh. And it shouldn't be meh. It should be amazing. And that scene right there, just sh that Superman scene of him versus the Justice League, it just shows the potential that the Justice League movie could have had. And it freaking felt flat. Um... I'm not even going to talk about the final battle scene. What I did like about the final battle scene is, I don't know, I think death <laughs> made Superman lighten up a little bit because in Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman, he was this brooding hero and that's not who Superman really is. But, you know, in the final battle scene, we get to see Superman, you know, be Superman after him and Cyborg destroyed the three mother boxes or whatever they're called you know Superman is on the ground he's like oh, I wish I was dead and him and Cyborg just start laughing and they start cracking jokes I'm like that's the Superman I like I don't know if they watch there's a show called Supergirl 
I couldn't get into the first season, but when I heard that in the second season, Superman was going to be in it, and they got the actor from Teen Wolf, at first I was a little nervous, but I was like, you know what, let me watch it. I love, I, I can't remember the actor's name, but I loved his portrayal of Superman. It reminded me a lot of Christopher Reeve's Superman. So to see Harry Cavill's in this Justice League movie, he's lighting up, he's joking, he's the Superman that I remember, even from the animated series. It was refreshing to see. That's really the only thing I liked about that Steppenwolf battle scene. And I understand, I understand. Steppenwolf is the build up to Dark Side, because even Steppenwolf mentioned Dark Side. But I'm just worried that. Dark Side is gonna be very underwhelming. Like X-Men Apocalypse. Apocalypse was so freaking underwhelming in that movie. And I hope that the DCEU is not gonna treat Dark Side as this underwhelming villain. He's an awesome villain and I hope they go all out. You have resources, you have freaking um DC animated movies, which are just awesome i think because of the flashpoint paradox um i saw is it justice league war and i think that's when all the justice league members find themselves and the way they did dark side in that movie was amazing dce you watch that movie you try to take references from that and put it in the live action because i'll be very disappointed if Darkseid turns out to be a very underwhelming villain. Um, the post credit scenes. The first one was a Flash and Superman racing and I love that. It was a nice little nod to the Superman animated series. There's that one episode where Superman and Flash are racing each other. And the best, to me, the best episode of Smallville <laughs> was when Flash was introduced and then at the end you know Clark says to Flash if I beat you I think you have to stay or some shit like that but if you beat me then you know you're free to go because I don't think Clark wanted Flash to, to leave you know and so Flash was like all right and so they start running they're running they're running they're running they're running Flash turns around and he starts running backwards and Clark is running. He's like, oh, okay. And Flash goes like this and he just, whoosh, he just bolts. And so, of course, we know who won that race. That, to me, was one of the best episodes of Smallville. Loved it. So seeing that post credit scene of Flash and Superman running in the Justice League movie racing, that was amazing. The second one. I'm sorry, I didn't really give less than two shits about it. You know why I didn't give less than two shits about it? I cannot stand Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I think they could have casted someone better. It's not that Jesse Eisenberg is a bad actor. He's not a bad actor, he's, he's, he's a good actor, but I just feel as if his portrayal of Lex Luthor is so lukewarm. He's there acting all jittery. He's like, ah, so, you know, I, uh, Got, I got out and, and don't you think we should have a league of our own? And I'm like, <sighs> that, that was me. So I was like, oh, 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 okay, that's Slade. Okay, yeah, all right. I, I, I don't give a fuck. To me, if they had gotten that dude, is his name Brian Cranston? The, the actor that played Heisenberg in Breaking Bad and he really was bald can you imagine him delivering those same exact lines that jesse eisenberg weak ass did in the post credit scene and how i would have gotten all freaking excited oh my god well the main point of that post credit scene is that there's going to be a legion of doom and it's amazing but like i said i i'm really not excited because that's more jesse eisenberg that i have to endure I was really hoping that they would have recasted Jesse, but uh, they would have recasted Lex Luthor, but 
I'm sorry, I, I did not get excited. A lot of people got excited, but I didn't. I just... I don't know if that's me being petty or whatnot, but I really felt... This is what I'm talking about with the DCEU. They keep falling flat, and they shouldn't have to be falling flat. That second post credit scene could have been amazing for me. For me, I don't know about y'all, but for me, it could have been amazing. I would have been screaming or whatever, but I didn't because it's freaking Jesse Eisenberg playing Lex Luthor. I'm sorry, it didn't do anything for me. It, it really didn't. So that is my take on the Justice League movie. I really hope that there's going to be an Aquaman standalone movie. There's going to be a Flash standalone movie. I really hope that they take their time. And definitely there's going to be a Justice League 2. So I don't know if is the main villain going to be Darkseid or are the villains going to be the Legion of Doom? So that would be very interesting to see. And I really, really hope that they take their time. Justice League, a Justice League live action movie should be doing, it should be breaking numbers, it should be breaking records, but it's not because of Batman first, the lukewarm, very disappointed. I remember after I saw Batman vs. Superman, I was just pissed off. I was upset. And then Suicide Squad was just like, what? <gasps> I remember I watched Double Toasted, and I don't know if you guys watch Double Toasted on YouTube. They even have a, I think they even have a podcast. But I follow them on YouTube. And they mention Batman Assault in Arkham. <laughs> So I watched Batman Assault in Arkham and I just got even more pissed off because I was like, why didn't you guys just make a live action version of Batman Assault Asylum? That was freaking amazing. Why didn't you do that? Why did you have Enchantress and, and she's there, you know, popping and locking and, and you know, oh, you, you guys worship machines and <sighs> so people have these lukewarm responses to Batman versus Superman to Suicide Squad so they're really not going into Justice League with with hope <laughs> and because of that Justice League is it's only been out for two weeks and it's already in the number two position You know, that's, that's really disappointing. So I, I hope that they move forward. They see the mistakes that they've made. You have the material. You have a vault. You have the DC animated movies. Reference them. Get somebody that have actually read the comics or have watched the cartoons or whatever the case may be. And get them to actually direct or direct script write the script whatever just you can do so much better that, that that's all so that is my take on justice league um and hopefully they'll get it right i hope so okay bye